Yeah, hey, test, test, one, two, suck my bomb. What is up, guys? Gav Bomb one here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make YouTube thumbnails. And, um, we're going to do two today. They're both pretty douchey, but one is for a douchey YouTuber, and another one is for a douche tuber. If you don't know the difference, you will after this video, okay? So we're going to go here. Your thumbnails should always be 1920 by 1080. And... Uh, this is kind of random, but if you were ever to print it out on a piece of paper, you'd want a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. All right, uh, and you're going to go from there. Let's start us off with the douche tuber. What exactly do we do for a douche tuber thumbnail, all right? Douche, douche tubers have to make money, too. We go here. You go to your picture. Are you reacting to something, obviously? And I know my camera quality is bad. Just leave me alone. You're going to select yourself. Um, if you don't know how to select yourself, then uh, see a previous video on selecting. I'm just going to do it real quick here without really talking about it too much. That was pretty good. Now let's just go bingo, bango, bongo. All right, sweet. Control Shift I, delete, and we got it done. All right, behind yourself, you're going to want the video or game you're reacting to, and uh, you're definitely reacting to something if you're a douche tuber, okay? Don't tell me you're doing something else with your YouTube. If, you, if, if uh, you're not a douche tuber, then this is, not, this is not the thumbnail for you. All right, if you have your image so big that some of the image is outside of uh, your actual little workspace here, uh, then make sure you scale it down. You go bingo, blongle, bloongle, and you delete. That shouldn't be an issue for most people, but uh, it's definitely an issue. All right, you're going to want to place yourself uh, right. Let's go, yeah, right here. That's just the tube buddy thing. If you don't know what tube buddy is, you should probably look it up. It's kind of nice. So here you got yourself, and then you got the video you're reacting to here. Now what else do we do? Well, you go over to yourself, you go effects, and of course we're a douche tuber, so we're going outer glow. Okay, so we want the opacity low. Okay, we want the spread pretty low. 11 maybe. A little more opacity right there. A little less spread. A little bigger. Right there, there you go. It's all glowy and nice. There we go. Delete that edge. All right, so we got ourselves. We got ourselves selected. We got ourselves glowing. Uh, we have our video we're reacting to. Now what else are we missing? We want text. Right here. Eh, what's going on? Choose a font you like. Make it stupid. Giant. And curvy. Mm, right here. We're just going to say. My. Fave. Vid. We're going to go over here. We're going to enter there. Too big. Scale that font down. Change the color to yellow. Let's look at it. Yep. All right. Now we're going to add effects to the text. Just effects. Uh, we're going to want a drop shadow. Uh, we're going to make the drop shadow. Red, that's another poppy color. What else are we doing? Normal. And here you go. You got yourself a nice douche video. Uh, you put no effort into it. You did it real quick, and there you go. Now this next one, this, this next one's really not going to be any better. It's just going to be freaking stupid. But... It doesn't make people scoff when they see it as much. Like uh, usually, if they're a little older, maybe uh, maybe if they're 50 and they're just kind of looking for help because they just learned how to Photoshop and they want like a totally serious video, they're gonna scoff at this video that I'm making right now. Yes, they are. But young teenagers, maybe even 30 year olds who have a good sense of humor and like to go on YouTube and watch people like PewDiePie, this is definitely the thumbnail for you. All right, so you have something cool and then you make it stupid. Now, you're going to want a blurred dildo for this, um, and unfortunately I can't show an unblurred dildo on YouTube, so I'm going to show you how to make it blurred with a flower uh, when you do it. Alright, so get it to the size you want, move it around, whatever. You go filter, 
Then you go blur. Then you go Gaussian blur. And you just screw with that till it's how you like it. Nope, too much. You still want it to be recognizable, but uh, not enough for YouTube's algorithm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Okay, now filter, pixelate, mosaic. And this is right here how you get your Minecraft look. And there you go. Just like that. Now do that to your dildo and bingo blongo. All right, so we're going to get our blur dildo. And we're going to whack. And we're going to put it slightly off screen. Right there. Let's look at it, see how that looks. Okay, almost. Not quite. Okay, we're going to want to scale it down. We want it to look a little farther away. How do you make things look farther away? Scale it down. Right there. No, 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 no. I lied. Tilt it just a little bit. Right there. All right, now spawns choking venom. So what do we do here? We go... Boom. Uh, we're not going to want this font. The font you're going to kind of want for an actual, uh, like, good, not-so-douchey thumbnail, you're going to want something really plain and simple and square. You don't want it to be super round. You kind of want it to be... Mm. Nice and bold and square. Copper plate gothic bold. How about that? We're going to say... You want to type in all caps. We're going to go here, we're going to go wah. And then the font you're probably going to want is a white font. Just uh, go like something something dark, something light. You, you just want something light. And we're going to highlight that. When you highlight it, it actually inverts the color because uh, usually the highlighting color is the color of the text. So next we're going to go here, we're going to go to the effects and we're going to do something a little different. We're going to go drop shadow. We want it to be black and a little, a little thinner. We want spread at 100. If you don't have spread at 100, it's like uh, blurry and it actually looks like a real shadow. Spread real high. Size not quite as high. Pretty low actually. Right there. And then we're going to add another drop shadow to it. Nope. Cancel. We're gonna make this one white. You can use outer glow too, but uh, like there's this weird thing where the order with the outer glow and the drop shadow sometimes, um, where one has to be on top of the other. So sometimes you can make the drop shadow white and it'll look the exact same. The thing about the drop shadow and the outer glow is they actually do, they work the exact same. It's just a default setting sort of thing. So you can make your drop shadow white and you could really make it glow. It really, it's kind of like a preset face in Skyrim. So we go to this this one right here. Make the size just a little bit bigger. Now look at that. That pops at you quite a bit. It's uh, easy to read. It's nice and big. And we want that to make it so you know that Venom is the one saying it. So we're going to put that right there. Now here's what you do. You go Control Shift Alt E. Now that merges every single layer and creates a new one. Uh, so if you disable that, you still have the exact same thing. It's just just a little different. So you go to this one, and since it's all one layer, you can just apply a filter to it. Go to Camera Raw, and then you're going to click this weird little thing right here. See see this? This weird little thing? Yep. We're going to go to the vignette, and we're going to maybe black. You want to brighten the midpoint and darken the vignette. Got that? Okay. Alright, so we got before and after, before and after. This looks pretty good. 
uh, pops just the way you think it should. So right here, this is what you want to do if you're kind of making a crappy little reaction video and you don't actually care about establishing an audience. And, and, and I'm not even like making fun of, of, of you know reaction videos and stuff right now. This is just this is just the truth blatantly. Um, if you if you don't want an established audience, you don't want people who actually really care about you. You just want little kids to click on it because you just want to exploit them for money. This right here is the way to go. You want it. You want it silly. You want it curvy. You want it poppy, and you want to make a goofy face in the thumbnail, because that's what that's what gets the kindergartners laughing, right? The ones with their tablets, they're watching on their Nook that they're allowed to have uh, between six and eight, and then they have bedtime. This this is this is for you. And basically, if you're anyone else and you just kind of want anyone to giggle, whether they're little or stupid or or really, you know, as long as they're not a stuck-up person, uh, this is the way to go for you. You might want to make it a little different. Um, I think a good example of a thumbnail I actually did and used this kind seriously. Right here, my Skyrim thumbnail. If you see, I have uh, the Dragonborn in full Daedric armor, and he's holding a dildo sword, and uh, the dragon stone says, "You're gay." Uh, you know, it's kind of it's kind of silly, but at the same time, it's kind of cool. Like, right? Like, it looks kind of awesome here, and then it looks kind of goofy here, uh, and people like their expectations subverted like that. Uh, if you just make it fully stupid, like uh, the reaction video thumbnail, then people are just going to look at it and be like, here's this guy, and he's goofy, and he only wants little kids to watch his videos. I'm not going to bother clicking because it's not going to be any fun for me because I'm you know, older than 12. This one right here is funny for a lot of people because at first glance, it's like, wow, that's a pretty cool thumbnail. And then you look, and he's holding a dildo sword, and then they start giggling because they weren't expecting that. Um, so, you know, they click on the video, and there you go because that's really what thumbnails are is it's marketing. You know, you don't. You, you know, you want people to watch your videos, and it's not like you have your own commercials for your videos. So this is kind of your little mini commercial. It's your marketing strategy. Uh, if you have a nice thumbnail, people are going to click on it. If you don't have a nice thumbnail, it's a lot likely that people are going to click on it. I can honestly say uh, whether whether I like it or not, I'm usually more drawn to clicking on visually attractive thumbnails. If I see a video with not a great thumbnail, I'm going to assume, and eh, the video is probably low quality. The editing is probably not great. If you see a high quality thumbnail, you're going to click on the video because you're assuming the rest of the video is going to be high quality. So if you're making videos on your phone, uh, you know, and you have a bad microphone and your camera is worse than mine, God forbid, if you have a good thumbnail, people are at least going to watch. So if you have good quality to back up your good thumbnails, you're going to have a lot of people subscribing. Uh, I don't get a whole lot of views. Uh, I think my highest viewed video is like 200 which really isn't that great, but the people stay because I also have I also put effort into my videos. You know, uh, I try really hard to be funny on camera, and then I try really hard when I edit the video. So you want everything to be high quality. You can't just have a high quality video and then put no effort into your thumbnails because people aren't going to click on the video in the first place. How are they going to know it's a good video? But you also want to have a good video when you make your thumbnail because if you have an awesome thumbnail and someone clicks on it and it's a trash video, they're going to click right away. You know. They come for the thumbnail and they stay for the content. So you want good thumbnails and good content. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out in some way, shape, or form. If you want to see other Photoshop tutorials, I have a playlist. Check it out on my channel. It's called The Joy of Photoshop. And I'll see you guys in a couple days for a gaming video. And I'll see you guys next week for another Photoshop tutorial. But most importantly, I will see you on the flip. Uh